Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we gonna solve internet programming questions that appeared in TS2020 ESET. It, it is a bit heavy subject because it comprises of HTML, CSS, Java, PHP like four different subjects. But still, the questions will be very easy. It, uh, the answer uh, questions will be very easy. So go through all those to score well. W3 Schools is the best platform for learning this subject. Link is also placed in the description. Check it out. Now let's dive into our first question. Dash tags add, add superscript to a H text in HTML. It's absolutely so. SUP tag. It, this is the tag used to superscript. Superscript means it's like placing squares. And another one is called subscript, also a tag. Yes, it comprises like SUB. Okay, now let's get into our second question. HTML tag for setting background image in table is. Let's go through the questions. First, here it is given table with okay here we have table data of course this will be the correct answer let's get into another options also table with background the background is not a tag it is a attribute so this option is wrong here it is table uh, table is a tag attribute with attribute background attribute uh, everything is clear this also would be correct and here background this is absolutely wrong and here we have two options but here the question according to the question tag for setting background image in the table in the table it is asked but here it is for table data so this will be wrong and this will be the correct option now let's move to our next question sync text to add external style sheet to html file we have three types of style sheets inline internal and external inline style sheets are uh, styles that are placed individual tags itself here if you see that inline the style is mentioned within the tag itself and let's get in, into an internal here internal is a place where uh, we take the tags or class names and use styles style sheet in a tag itself we will mention like this style we uh, we will give like bar, tag or uh, class name using that we give the style sheets so that we can ap uh, apply to the whole page with a, with the same a, a, one tag itself and next uh, external external style uh, it, it is a sheet external style sheet is used to apply to many pages when we have and we will use like link and here uh, rel which is relevant Use it to uh, it, it takes the uh, property like style sheet and ty type takes text by CSS and href it, re uh, it refers to the location of the uh, page and if you see that in the in the options it is given it it does not have relevant so it is wrong option and here also it is given add tag so it is wrong here it is a it is wrong it will become it will uh, if it is a it will uh, behave like a link type but here the closing tag is re is given wrong and here link relevant and href we have these three these two and it's not mandatory for type attribute so it will it becomes the correct option and if we see this also link href align center is given but we don't have any relevant tag so it, it is wrong now let's move to our next question in css dash property can place the image in middle with respect to the baseline it is uh, it is a vertical align i will show you the execution also here if you see that image a is given and it is vertical align and it is the baseline let's see it here Vertical align with the baseline. Baseline is what this 
text is called this text is the baseline and we have to apply image with with vertical align with this part over here so it is applied like this if we consider this as image the, it is uh, aligned with us in the same pattern as the text and if uh, we have many more properties for vertical line go through them and if we see some of them that to text top it will make that uh, 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 above that uh, text and text bit bottom it uh, makes the image below the text vertical align sub, uh, sub sub means subscript here vertical align we can align subscript to the vertical align property also here it is subscripted same as it works same as text bottom and superscript it it, it places like a square root square like that image now let's move to our next question in javascript dash function divides the string into small strings by separating the characters it is a split we shall see how they split functions here if you see that we are taking a string into the where how, how are you doing today with a question mark and we will we will split it you, we have double quotes in it let's try and we are splitting it here we can see that we are getting commas in between every space now let's take this out you can see every individual uh, alphabet will get a space now we will try it in here we will see we go to an, an, another example which will give us a clear idea here we are mentioning no space here we don't here we not give we are not giving any space for this and if we try this we will try this and we don't have any space in it if we don't give any space in between here we it will show that every alphabet is given uh, is given a comma and if we space uh, if we given one space it will show like this sorry we should run it and we have every comma now let's take uh, an alphabet in it h and we will try it we are not getting any output so be perfect with this type of questions also now let's get into our second question next question which of the following syntax is correct to create an array this type of creating and initializing an array does not work in javascript and it uh, this is a correct this is a, a direct initialization of array in javascript this, this also works but this don't work because we have to mention it as new array if we don't do that it takes the last element hcu as into the variable and stores it it does not consider it as an array so these two are the correct options in javascript here we don't have new array but here we have new array with curve parentheses and here it, it is square brackets so option 2 and 3 are correct this is the correct option now let's move to a seventh question which of the following operator does not belong to javascript here not equals to it, it is present in uh, javascript it also present in javascript also present in javascript it also present in javascript the question is uh, the question is wrong it it uh, this all works in javascript i will show you with execution here it, you can see that it is also known as conditional or ternary operator it is given as variable name condition value 1 value 2 let's try uh, let's this work out this here it is given an voting uh, age less than 18 or not and we are old enough to vote here it is given like votable equals to age less than here it is the condition and we are executing this or this so we can see that here it is executing it is working properly so ternary operator works in 
javascript also javascript also so the option question is wrong now let's move to the eighth question dash function adds elements to at the end of array in php in ph in php we don't have any array end array append and array inserted we only have array push function this array push function inserts elements or elements element at the end of array go through all the functions in php next move to our next question the syntax for of for each loop in php is it is for each dollar x s dollar y we shall see with the execution Let's take an example. Here we are declaring PHP, and we are we are taking a variable dollar colors and color as colors to the array of red, green, blue, and yellow. Uh, be aware of uh, array declaration in JavaScript and PHP. Difference between them. And now take an for each. For each works only for arrays, fixed arrays only. Here we are taking dollar colors. This color array name. Here we will use array name and as dollar value. This value always increments and go through uh, the array. First it it will be here and next it increments and it will be next and we will get like and uh, we are echoing it. We are printing it like this. If we run this, we will get. First, the value will be here. Second and third and fourth. If what? Uh, let's we uh, let's we'll see with by changing the value. Here one. Here as two. So it will be clear for that. Here you can see one, two, blue, yellow. So here and finally we are closing the PHP tag. And next move. Uh, hope you you are clear with this concept. Go through the loops also. And next we will move to the next question. Here is our final question. The output of date format with echo date of D D S M and Y. Here we, the then uh, uh, there is an error in the question. Here it is uh, it is only D. We don't have uh, D S over here we will execute this and see it very clearly here if you see that we are printing it we have got when 12 may 2021 here it is like d capital d uh, is for day small d is for date m capital m is for month and here comma this prints the comma itself and here every space prints a space in between and y y is for year if we change like this it is small d and here we here we will make it as capital D so that you can see the difference itself everything is uh, will change here date d small d for date first we have date next we have day and if we uh, remove this comma we we will find no comma in the output itself here we we don't uh, we have missed uh, we don't uh, we have missed the comma so this is what happens so if you finally if you observe that we have got H, uh, four questions from html and css and three from JavaScript and another three from PHP and all our basic basic questions itself. So prepare well and get ready for the exam. All the best. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe and share.